Do you make a good income, but still find yourself living paycheck to paycheck? If that sounds like you, stick around to the end of this video, cause we're gonna show you why it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep that really matters. Hi, I'm Olivia Kirk. I'm Tim Urich, we're from Tier One Capital, and we're here to show you how to regain control of your money. For the best advice on controlling your cash flow, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when we upload new videos. A lot of times people will come to us earning a good income. In fact, more income than they thought was ever possible. But they still have that feeling that they're living paycheck to paycheck. And clearly it's not an income problem. If it was, they wouldn't have any problems. The issue is their money and their cash flow is not working efficiently. You see, if you don't correct how you're using your money, the problems will continue to compound as your income grows. We've found that there are five major areas where people are giving up control of their money unknowingly and unnecessarily. Unknowingly, meaning they don't realize they're doing it. And unnecessarily, meaning they could stop whenever they want to. The five areas are taxes, mortgages, how they fund their retirement, how they pay for their children's college education, and how they're making major capital purchases. The first step is to take a look at your finances and find out where you're giving up control of your money. And then the next step is to simply stop doing those things that are taking control away from you. And the air quotes are on simply because these are things that you've been doing all your life that conventional wisdom or your family or your mentors may be suggesting you do to get ahead financially. But what's happening is you're giving up control of your monthly cash flow to other institutions. And when you're doing that, it's impossible for you to move ahead financially. Step three is to save your money in a place that you own in control so that only you your family or your business could access that money. And step four is where the magic happens. It's where you borrow from yourself and pay interest back to yourself or that account that you own and control. And when you do that, you are now in control of the borrowing process. Money never leaves your control, and you are what we refer to as cash fluent. Think of the impact it would have if you had complete liquidity use and control and controlled the finance function in your life where you're building cash flow for yourself, using it to achieve your financial goals, and then rebuilding it so you could repeat the process. And what's not stated in there is the fact that now you've liberated yourself from the banks and finance companies. Clearly, it's not your income that's holding you back. If that were the case, all of your problems would have been solved three raises ago. It's how you're using your money. If you're finally ready to regain control of your money and start saving for your financial goals, be sure to visit our website at tier1capital.com. We have a free web course where we do a deep dive into the four steps. Or if you're ready to get started and get on a call, feel free to schedule your free strategy session to get on our calendar today. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you know someone who needs this information in their life, be sure to share the video with them. Thanks so much for watching our video. And remember, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep that really matters.